came across a wedding box here. It says made in Japan. It's quite dirty. It's not very well made. But as you can see, you can stack it on the lid. It's $1.99. It's not worth it. It's in Capitamonte. Of course, it's all chipped and cracked like Capitamonte gets. This is real cute, but it's modern here one. And look, fire hydro. This is a cute fish. I like this actually. It's a fish planter. I think I might get it for my I'm gonna get this for $1.99 and I'm going to put some succulents in it. So we're not only looking for resale, we are looking for succulent planters. This is interesting. Oh look, it's a knickknack of the Holy Land. Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Nazareth. Oh, somebody's gift from Helen. It's pretty. I used to have a red plate like this, and this one's really cheap. This is very thin. I used to have one that was pewter, and it was much, much heavier. These are cute. I think these are from Dollar Tree. <laughs> these kind of things. Cute, they're resin. Just like that's resin, and that's resin. This is someone's project from the crafts from the plaster store paint paint and take store. This is cute mother goose. I'm also looking for things to do some steampunk with. Should I see? Here's a really cute ashtray, vintage, $1.99, hand painted in Brazil, but oh look, it's cracked, and it's cracked all the way through. Here's a pretty plate, articulated, no mark, which means it's probably American. It does look vintage. I try to stay away from plates, they're not easy to sell. It's a pretty brass fan, $1.99, I wonder how much that would be in scrap. That's the other thing, there was brass stuck over there, solid brass. But the price of it probably was more than the scrap price. If it was less, you could get that in scrap and get it, and I would just scrap it. Ooh, look at this, $3.99 and it's heavy. It's also brass. Here's a nice piece of carnival glass. This is actually cheap carnival glass. Just a little chunk of box. That's cute. This is a pretty cup though. This looks a little mid-century modern with the gold. This looks like a vintage teapot. Made in Japan, cute. Now look at this canister set, this is fantastic. This is a fish, but it is missing the front. If that front piece was here, I would definitely buy it. It opens up and it pushes together on your counter. When it's all together, it makes a fish. This is super cool. I bet you that front piece broke. These are nice big mugs. Wow, those are cool Mikasa mugs. Look at this, there's four of them there. There's actually a whole plate set that goes with it. Oh, this is a demi-test set. There's four in the set. Huge. Take a look at this canister set because this one looks like a house that you put together. It's also missing a piece. Here's the side. Adorable. This giant ginger jar. It's taped together. I'm gonna try and get it down without killing myself. Oh, looks like it's modern. It's pretty though. I wonder if this would be good for life succulents. Let's see if I can find some cute containers to put some succulents in. This is adorable for $1.99. I like this. That's going to come home with us. I want to get things that are really cute and unusual. Look at this. This is a little fire thing. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I think I'm going to get that for my table. This is a cute little Asian. I don't like the flower that's in it. I suppose I could take it out. So far, we've got 
three succulent planters, one lantern, and one monkey cup for resale. I was just walking by and I spotted this entire bag of Legos. It's $9.99 for this giant bag. I wonder if that's worth it. I have to think about it when we get this one. Okay, so here's the decision. There are three of these green platforms for Legos. That's five dollars. And this giant bag, which is very heavy, filled with Legos and Lego parts. I don't know how much they're worth. It's ten dollars. For fifteen dollars for the whole thing, I mean a Lego kit to cost more than that. So let's try it. We'll see what happens. Well, these are cool. These are those things that stick together. So I looked through the textiles really quick and what I'm looking for is some curtains or something that has a fringe that I could cut off because a fringe with beading on it is very expensive. So I was looking for some sort of curtains or something that I could cut up and use on one of my other projects. Well, I hope you enjoyed my very first attempt at a video. I'll be doing a lot more treasure hunting this summer. You may even meet some of my friends that I go treasure hunting with. Stay tuned for my haul episode, which will talk a little bit more about what I actually purchased. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.